Almost 100 million years ago in what would one day become Argentina, the land was ruled by giants that hunted titans. Under their rule, smaller animals somehow coexisted with these massive beasts. One of the creatures that lived among these titanic rulers was not only small, but armored. Their kind hasn't been seen in the fossil record since the dinosaurs began to conquer the world. Yet it lived in a time where their kind should have been extinct. What kind of an animal was it? Why is there such a massive evolutionary gap between it and its relatives, and how far did this group of animals truly last? The name of this mysterious dinosaur is Jacopil, the armored ghost of Candeleros. The story of this strange armored dinosaur began in 2012, when a complete lower jaw and several osteoderms were discovered in land owned by the Marilluan family. These remains were found in the early Cenomanian aged rocks of the Candeleros Formation, located in Patagonia, Argentina. After these findings were reported, the specimen was excavated between 2014, 2019, and 2020. The specimen found, later named MPCA PV630, which consists of a fairly complete skeleton, were prepared by paleontologists El Pazo and J. Caluza. The specimen would later be identified as a new and very odd genus of Ornithischian dinosaur, which would be described by paleontologists Facundo Hotorichetti, Sebastiana Pesteguia, and Xavier Pereda Superbiola in 2022 as Jacopil Caniucura with Jacopil meaning shield-bearing in the Puelchian language, and the species name Kenyukura meaning crest stone in the Mapudungan language, in reference to its uniquely deep lower jaw. Based on the remains found for the holotype specimen, Jacopil is estimated to be 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet in length, and is estimated to weigh around 4.5 to 7 kilograms, or 9.9 .9 to 15.4 pounds. These estimates make it one of the smallest dinosaurs ever found in the Candeleros Formation. For comparison, this makes it just slightly longer than the Capybara, which has a body length of 1.3 meters, or 4.3 feet, and weighs around 79 kilograms, or 174 pounds. Jacopil is also quite close in size to its close relative, Scutellosaurus, which is also 1.3 meters in length. Jacopil is believed to be a basal form of Thyreophora, a massive clade of armored Ornithischian dinosaurs that contains both the Stegosaur and Ankylosaur family trees. The phylogeny of Jacopil, according to Rigetti et al., suggests that Jacopil is more closely related to early forms that existed in the early Jurassic, such as the likes of the aforementioned Scutellosaurus from North America, as well as the European Skeletosaurus. Jacopil, on the other hand, existed during the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous, showing that this dinosaur belonged to a ghost lineage of basal thyreophorans that somehow survived up until the Cretaceous period. This makes Jacopil the first of its kind to be found in the dinosaur fossil record. However, its phylogenetic position has been questioned by other paleontologists after its publication, with some suggesting it's not a basal thyreophoran, but rather a marginocephalian, Another massive clade of Ornithischians that contains both the Pachycephalosaur and Ceratopsian family trees. This has been suggested due to the deep shape of the lower jaw and the lack of teeth in the premaxilla, which isn't what Thyreophora is known for. Despite the suggestions, this topic currently remains under debate due to its fragmentary nature. As of now though, Jacopil remains as a basal Thyreophoran. Jacopil lived 97 million years ago in the Candeleros Formation, located in what is now Patagonia, Argentina. The environment of Candeleros would have made up a part of the ancient Cocorcum Desert, 
showing that the habitat was extremely arid and dominated by sand dunes and aeolian badlands. Animals could only survive here thanks to the braided river systems and swampy habitats. While the flora of this formation is unknown, the fauna is quite diverse. Jacopil would have lived with large predators such as the Carcharodontosaurid Giganotosaurus, the apex predator of the formation, along with its competition, the also giant Abelosaurid Ecrixinatosaurus. These larger predators would have hunted large, sicker young sauropod individuals, with Nopsis spondylus, Rheososaurus, and Andesaurus being a few examples. While Jacopil itself may have not needed to worry about predation from adults, Smaller and younger predators would not have passed the opportunity to hunt and consume these small dinosaurs. Other predators it would have likely been hunted by was the basal Solorosaur Bicentenaria. Younger Jacopil were probably ambushed by Nahash, an early snake. The Dromaeosaur Buitry Raptor, while potentially having a heron-like lifestyle, would also likely attempt to hunt Jacopil individuals of all ages. While there were quite a high amount of predators that lived in its ecosystem, Jacopil would not have been an easy prey item to obtain as it would have used its armor to protect itself and repel any attacker with the possible exception of the Crixinatosaurus and Giganotosaurus. Moving on to what Jacopil itself would eat, the teeth found in its lower jaw shows that Jacopil was an herbivore that fed on tough plant material due to the high amount of wear on its teeth, showing that it processed these plants through chewing, like all Ornithischians. However, since most herbivores can't always rely on plants for protein, there's a chance that Jacopil may have fed on small animals too, such as bugs, small amphibians, reptiles, and mammals like the saber-toothed Cronopio. Unlike the other animals we've featured thus far on Epoch Now, Jacopil is incredibly new, only being named last year in 2022. As such, it has not had as much time to make prominent appearances in pop culture such as video games, movies, or documentaries. However, Jacopil does appear as a mutation for the Ceratosaurus in the video game Primal Carnage Extinction. Hopefully in the future, it will make more appearances in media as more and more people come to learn about this incredible animal. Jacopil was an incredibly fascinating animal. The fossil itself has shown us that this creature, in addition to expanding upon the diversity of the most well-known armored dinosaurs to ever exist, also shows us that lineages that were once thought to be extinct actually lasted far longer than we could have expected. Unfortunately, like how all dinosaurs have come and gone before and after, Jacopil eventually did meet its end, going extinct 94 million years ago. While its extinction still remains a mystery, the animal appeared to outlast even the mighty Giganotosaurus, which went extinct around a million years beforehand. As of 2023, it is currently unclear what kind of fossil record the family of Jacobil had that allows us to see how long basal thyreophorans lasted. It is possible that they could have gone extinct between the Turonian and the Maastrichtian stages. But as of now, Jacobil remains one of a kind. It's one of many examples of how bizarre dinosaur anatomy can truly be, and it shows us just how many other unique lineages remain to be discovered, just like the armored ghost from Candeleros, Jacopil Kenyukura. Thank you guys for watching today's video on Jacopil. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Today's thumbnail was made by the Dinosaur Hunter, and the animation was made by Mephilus. And the video was scripted, directed, and edited by myself and the Primal Earth. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all in the next video. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, and a Happy New Year.